Hey, what is going on? It is uh, January 30th, 2019. Uh, this is the week two check-in for the Duffs to Darts. Uh, it is my weekly vlog or weekly uh, check-in to keep myself honest for my project to go from a 20 to a 10 handicap in 10 months. Uh, but as you guys know, it's not it has nothing to do with as far as hiring a coach or hiring uh, a trained teaching professional. The, the kind of the gimmick here or the hook is doing it as low cost as effectively as possible. Um, hence the name Duffs to Darts on a Dime. So this week's practice was uh, more inside stuff. It's January in Chicago and I'm going to put it up right here. It, uh, it snowed a lot. Uh, recently, the other day, I was walking outside with my dog and got completely covered in it. He's a husky. He didn't care. Uh, I did. Uh, it sucked. Uh, and today, it with the wind chill, it is minus 50. Uh, part of the polar vortex that you've probably seen on the news if you're watching recently. But yeah, it's um, really freaking cold. So uh, all my practice is inside. Everything I can do inside. Uh, luckily, my uh, condo apartment here has 10-foot ceilings, so I'm able to take full swings inside. I can swing driver if I want to, but I'd rather not, just because I don't want to hit a sprinkler and set the entire building off, and then have to pay for all the damages. So, uh, longest club I use is probably a 4-iron, and even that I choke up on. What I do is I have this old piece of turf that I got from a sports authority uh, that was near an office that was going out of business and I went inside to see if I could buy the actual hitting mat and they'd already cut it up into little squares uh, so see right here uh, it's just a little like one by one foot square I put a little you know like I said I put the dot on there and uh, that's I use that as my ball so instead of hitting a ball into the wall I use that as my aim point, and I swing into that. Um, I alternate between my new uh, sub 7699s to kind of get the feel of those new clubs. And then I, for the weight of uh, the old game improvement pink G10s that I have, but also because of the rounded edge on it, because I have a hitting mat that's you know about an inch thick or so, um, I'll use the G10s with the rounded mat on there so it kind of rolls across the top because I do have a neighbor downstairs and I don't really need them to hear, you know, loud, you know, thumping on the floor every night. So that's that. Um, what I've been doing other than that practice-wise is a lot of putting because the short game is going to be really the biggest thing where I can save strokes. And you see, so speaking of short game, little guy right there eating his ice cream cone. Uh, a lot of putting. So using the putt-out mat, I have a lot of very, you know, different you know, variations, different games that I play. One game that I do a lot uh, is I do my version of the ladder drill. And what I do for that is there are three dots each row, and there are six rows on the putt-out mat. Each row is a foot apart, so the first one's one foot away from the putt-out spot, next one's two feet, and you get the idea. Simple math. So there's three dots per row, you go all the way down, and then you go all the way back, and you alternate each dot back and forth without missing. And that's the whole idea of the game. So I did that all the way down and back. So what I did with that is, you know, I'd go down 18, back 18, and I was at 51 in a row before I missed one, missed a one ball length left. Um, it's, you know, whatever, it's practice, 51 in a row, I'm not going to be upset about uh, I did that, so I did a total of 75, you know, alternating the different dots to change the angle of where I went to the putt out, and then I did another 25 straight up and down, down the middle, um, working on making sure it stopped right in the middle circle of the putt out, and then it didn't roll past the one foot mark, so that way, had I missed a putt or it lipped out or something like that, it would be in that one foot circle. The other thing I did, um, alternated with this week was I did, um, a hundred, about a hundred putts um, total, with the same with the putt-out mat, because that's where I am, I'm inside with the putt-out mat. Uh, changing different sides, but then I finished uh, with about 75 three-foot putts in a row. I just flipped the little thing up on the putt-out, so that way they rolled straight back and it wouldn't do the perfect putt. Did that, and that's about it practice-wise this week. Um, one thing I did get to do, and I'm going to put it at the end of this, and there's a separate video link for just that part, but I'm going to put it in the back of this as well. Um, 
I went to the Mistwood Golf Dome with my new clubs, and there was a, a person in the Golficity group that uh, joined me. His name's Ben. Nice guy. I uh, went there to try those out, and I'll, I'll put all that video on the back of this. But that's the check-in for this week. Uh, week two in the books. And I didn't miss a single day of the 100 swings a day, so I'm happy about that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, well, like I said, I'll put the, the Mistwood uh, Golf Dome video in the back of this. Uh, so you can check that out, or you can stop right here. Again, thanks for watching. Keep grinding.